age comes experience. With experience comes maturity. With the right teachings and guidance come improved performance and greater success. Boxing development can be broken down into several key aspects, including physical strength, technical skills, mental fortitude, and strategic development. If a boxer matures properly, they ultimately become more well-rounded boxers, able to adapt to different opponents and situations. They may also become more patient and strategic in their approach, relying less on brute force and more on technique and intelligence. With Shakur moving north to lightweight, his eagerness to challenge not only himself, but to also make a statement in his campaign in the new weight division, has him facing an undefeated top 10 opponent of the division. Yoshino, having spent the majority of his career at 135, is an opponent whose style is more aggressive by nature. He will be at Shakur's doorstep all night. By the end of the night, a few questions will have been answered. Does Shakur's power carry north? If any, how much speed does he lose? How's his patience and willingness to engage? And most importantly, Shakur's maturity and commanding skills with his ring generalship. Or meeting him with that lead hand, then firing off the jab goes on. Range is prioritized at the top of the totem pole in boxing. It determines how far away a boxer can strike their opponent. As power is at the end of your punches. Why shorten the battlefield when you can instead create more layers for the opponent? A boxer who is skilled at controlling range can use this to their advantage by either staying out of their opponent's reach or closing the distance to deliver powerful strikes. Additionally, range can be affected by a number of factors including height, reach, and footwork. Phenoms such as Shakur is a specialist in this field as he says, only takes him two to three rounds at best before he is able to find his range. Once range was established, what happens is, it gives a sniper a split second more to react. In this case, Yoshino got over anxious, reached in with everything falling short of his target. Stevenson held his ground and capitalized on the mistake. He fell into an uncompromising position where he was caught off balance, dead in the center of the pocket exposed. Being that he fell into an inside position meant Stevenson had the dominant lead foot outside position, which directly aligned Yoshino with Shakar's left cross. Like he was coming with a left hand over the top, throwing a jab. Shakur just slipping his head out. If there's one thing about human behavior, it's that we are creatures of habits and patterns. Pattern recognition in boxing refers to the ability to identify and analyze patterns of behavior, movement, and strategy in an opponent's fighting style. To develop pattern recognition skills, one must pay close attention to their opponent's verbal cues, otherwise known as their triggers and telegraphs. Once patterns are identified, Boxers can use the collected data and knowledge to adjust to the strategy and make more informed, intelligent decisions on how to approach the fight. Yoshino had the tendency to lead the charge with a jab to take the inside or outside angle in order to set up his power punches. On top of that, he was front foot heavy and lived with his head. Shakur would look for indicators and intelligently react whether it's to draw punches to counter or have well-placed shots as he figured Yoshino's timing. detrimental to take either the inside or outside angle in a southpaw versus orthodox matchup. You cannot attack in a straight line due to foot placement. Shakur chose to defend at angles instead of pulling straight back and getting caught against the ropes. 
by stepping around, it allowed him to utilize more of the ring, giving Shakur more space to maneuver, as well as to create new angles to not only reset range, but to also attack a more dominant position. Kor was attentive to every position in the ring. Each time Yoshino would take the inside angle, he would take advantage of the lead outside foot to loop his power hook, which allowed him to follow up with more punches. See the combinations right here from Shakur Stevenson. Coming around that guard, beautiful right hook, letting his hands go. That opened up. He moved the guard right there. Oh, left hook like a child in time. Beautiful work right here by Shakur Stevenson. A young phenom whose head hasn't yet caught up with this still growing body. That's a terror for anyone in his path of division. Shakur is poised, calculated, and equipped with a diverse offense. Not only does he understand the fundamentals of the game, such as range, pattern, and ring generalship, he has athleticism, speed, and power to back physically. To say I'm impressed each time I watch Shakur take the stage is an understatement. The car shows poise and energy efficiency, only moving as much as needed, turning short angles, creating openings for his offense. The scariest part is he sits in a pocket, only pulling away to create enough distance for his opponent's punches to fall short. By standing his ground, he taunts his opponents as they are unable to lean even when in striking distance. His upper body movement allows him to plant his feet when needed to evade incoming shots, affording him the ability to load his shoulders in order to strike back. The ceiling for development has yet to be determined. A big strong fighter whose technical skills are still evolving. To move up to a new weight class and dismantle a top 10 fighter with such ease like they say, are you not entertained? Get used to this face. He isn't going anywhere but up. In the beating, Alan Hungin says, I've seen enough.